us corporate girlies made it. I love you. Scout and I have been having a little bit of a lazy girl morning. Right? Bless you! We've been chilling in bed. I've been editing my vlog from last week to go up sometime today. But it is time. It is time to go to the farmer's market. But I want to go to Michael's because I want to do a little craft. And I feel really bad. I'm not going to bring Scout with me. So I'm going to have to figure out something that Scout and I can do later on today. Like maybe a walk in Hyde Park in Tampa. She would like that. It's actually kind of rainy outside and it may rain. It may not rain. I'm not quite sure. But I wanted to put some like charms right here. And I think if I get like fishing wire and some little hooks, I could hook them or sew them into the side of the hook. And I could put like pearls or like cute little things on my trucker hats to make them more girly fied. So I thought I might stop by uh, Michael's to see what I can get for this. And then farmer's market. And I really need fruit. I'm looking for peaches. It is peach season and I am dying to have peaches. In North Carolina when I lived there last year or for the last several years. Oh, I love you too. I would go to the farmer's market every weekend. Scout, you've got my, thank you. I would go to the farmer's market every weekend and I would get, um, during peach season, I would get so many peaches. I could slice them and like put them in the freezer to have for a few more months or a couple more weeks after pe peach season was over because peaches is one of my favorite fruits. Come with me to the farmer's market and all these other crazy things that we got to do today. And then we got to be back so we can walk scout, maybe get a living room cleaning video done today. And we got to figure out what we're going to do for dinner kind of thinking about some kind of takeout or something like that something that's healthy though like some kind of yummy salad i don't know something where i don't have to cook or make or clean up scout's gonna chill out here at home right baby cakes look at you with your belly out good morning good morning good morning i love you i'm gonna bring you with me in a little bit okay i gotta do some mommy things one week update on the plant she is a plant mommy. Plant is thriving. She is doing wonderful. We love her. Bye. I love you. I'll see you. Goodbye. Goodbye, mama. I love you. I'll see you later. I'll be back. Typical. We had a really cold day. One day this week, so I've got to fill up air in my tire. And I've got to pump some gas because I am basically on E. We made it to the farmer's market and I think I looked out and got some free parking. It is two hour parking, which I'm only going to be here for maybe 15, 20 minutes. So I think we're fine. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited! The little squirrel! Okay, I found out where I need to be for fruit. Look at this! Oh my goodness! There's so much here. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my gosh. Some of these apples for our salad. Do we want honey crisp? Or do we want the gala? Oh, we're going honey crisp. All the way. Got my finds! I've got y'all in the most awkward setup in the back of my car, but we're gonna do a little haul from my farmer's market. I didn't get much because I want to run errands and stuff. But if I get done with all of that and the farmer's market is still going on, I might come back to get some more stuff for the week that I can put in the fridge. 
but I was so excited about getting here and getting some stuff so went ahead and came and bag number one we've got some strawberries they look so plump and juicy let's try one mm-hmm mm -hmm. mm. so good and then we got some blueberries as well let's try one of these Mm -hmm. you can tell the blueberries on their last leg and it's the end of the season but they're good i basically just got some um oh my gosh i forgot what kind of apple this is but that concludes my farmer's market haul okay we're gonna attempt to vlog in the mall i'm so <sighs> everybody's gonna see me i almost got in a car accident my fault on the way over here i was merging and I did not see the car and oh my gosh, thank goodness I didn't hit anyone. They honked their horn, but someone almost did that to me earlier today. So takes one to know one, I guess. <laughs> Zara and this is the best time to come because like no one's in here I did not like anything in Zara so we're heading to free people ah, right over there Okay, pulled a few things for me to try on. Let's go over them. I'm excited because I'm trying to add more color. I like so much of this stuff in the store. I saw this in red, so if I like it, I might get the red instead. This is so cute. Obsessed with this. And we'll see, I don't know. This sweater is an immediate no. <laughs> It's cute on the on the hangers, just not for your girl. Undecided on this green vest because I tried it on without the shirt and I thought it looked really cute and I thought it might look cute with the shirt, but I don't know. I don't like it with this with this shirt. Maybe with a cropped something that's cropped. I don't know. I might have to think about this and order this on again. Did that work out for me? Okay, this is the small in this. I'm gonna try on the medium. It was a little booby, so I feel like I need to bra wet. This is so nice for the summer here in Florida. I was so undecided on things that free people that I bought nothing. Nothing. But I tried on so many things that I did like, I just didn't buy them. Ugh, I hate shopping sometimes. Last stop at the mall. We're gonna hit up Urban Outfitters and we're gonna see if there's anything good in there. Okay, I've been eyeing this online. Like, yeah, I can handle this. This would be perfect on my coffee table in my living room. Just spruce it up. I think I'm over, I think I'm overthinking all of this like outfit stuff and I just need to buy crap. I don't know. Anyway, I got a candle at Urban and I pick, put back everything that I had in my hands that I was gonna try on. I didn't try on anything and I lied. We're gonna go to Forever 21 really quick before we leave the mall. Okay, we're in altered state, y'all. I left the mall with only a candle. I'm so upset. I think I'm just overthinking like style and like I'm still I'm in this weird place where I'm trying to find my style and I'm also on a budget I don't know I just I wasn't in love with I love a couple of pieces but I need to think about them so I might buy some stuff online from free people but I just wasn't like I need to have those kind of things I just I think I also need a belt for these pants. I think I wore the wrong pants to try on stuff. But I'm just overall not feeling really confident about my body today. <sighs> this really brought me to a new low. I haven't been this low about my body in a while. <sighs> 
Anyway, well, I'm done with this. I'm gonna grab something to eat and then head home to take care of Scout. Scariest thing happened to me. I'm backing out of my spot at Whole Foods and my, I didn't realize. I use my screen as my backup camera, you know? And I should actually be using my mirror. I know, I know, but I'm so heavily reliant on the screen these days. Who isn't? And I did not realize my screen froze. Just because I'm in a crowded parking lot. I'm trying to get out of there. I'm a little flustered. There's a big truck waiting for me to go. And I did not realize it. I backed into carts. Whole Foods shopping carts. Thank goodness it was just that. But let's go check to see if there's any damage. Looks perfect. There's good morning. It's Sunday and I've been chilling in bed with Scout. We had some breakfast. I went live and did a little make breakfast with me. I tried to do that a couple times a week. Um, so did that this morning. We went on our dog walk and she had breakfast. And we've been chilling in the bed and I've just been like adding chapters to my vlog that I uploaded at midnight. It was like 12.42 or something like that when it finally got processed and uploaded. That took forever. I fell asleep yesterday while I was editing it like at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I was so tired. But we have a packed schedule today because I have to batch out some ASMR cleaning content. And I don't have anything filmed. We need to do a living room clean. We need to do a kitchen clean at some point today. If I have any energy, I'm going to do a bathroom clean. But I can always do that during the middle of the week. And then I definitely need to reset my sheets and eventually wash my hair today. So that way I can sleep in clean sheets with clean hair and a clean body. But there's a couple of cleaning things that I want to get at Target. There's one thing specifically I've been wanting to use on my bed. And it's like a big, um, big like lint roller because the vacuum does do a good job of picking up stuff. But like Scout's hair is just like so short that it gets embedded into like anything. So I just feel like if I had the, um lint roller thinking that I've seen at Target before that I feel like it might help get all the little hairs that are trapped up in the like mattress so on the mattress cover I don't know whatever you call it so we're gonna go to Target together and get that I do need a new scrub mommy so I'll get that I'm not gonna get my groceries quite yet because I wanna get like a rotisserie chicken and I wanna shred that while it's warm because if you put it in the fridge and shred it when it's cold, it's much harder. So I just would like to shred that while it's warm. And I'm just not in the mood for that. I wanna get started on my bedroom cleaning and then once I do that, again, while that's going and washing, I can, I hate to do other cleanings when any, like when the washer or dryer are going. So I really can't do anything because I try to keep it as silent as possible. I've even gotten as far as now I turn off my AC because I really do notice that it makes a difference in the background of the video. Like you can hear that the AC is on or off. And I just feel like I'm, I, for one, I've been struggling. Like my views on my little ASMR video content was, it was going up. I was at 3.8 million views in the last 90 days. And now all of a sudden I'm down to 3.3. So we got to rework our strategy a little bit. I'm not going to fall off my game. I'm going to be consistent and I'm going to be delusional. I'm in my delusional era. Basically, I'm in my delusional era right now. I am so delusional, but I have such like grand dreams. I am now ready to go to Target. <laughs> I'm just wearing some sweatpants and a t-shirt because I am just gonna come home and do cleaning and then possibly run out. Well, I have to run out and get a couple things in the grocery store. I wanna update you guys on these little platform shoes. So I wore these yesterday when I took Scout on a dog walk at Hyde Park in Tampa. And these are the wrong shoes for a dog walk. 
and I recognize that now because I almost literally twisted my ankle. Um, so yeah, I won't be wearing these when I'm out with Scout. And we're going to try this again to wear these when we're casually out by ourselves and we don't have to run around because Scout was so excited to be at Hyde Park. She was going to every store and she was driving me a little bit crazy and these were the wrong things to wear. And the, this like part of the strap rubbed against like the top of my big toe and kind of like peeled the skin back a little bit. But I do think it might just be because I was wearing these on a dog walk and I should be wearing sneakers or regular sandals. So these, these are not the move for a dog walk. We're gonna try them again though. I do think they're so comfortable. They're a little bit difficult to walk in because I'm not used to wearing a platform. I'm still getting used to that, but all in all, these are not a bad Amazon buy. You know, for 58 bucks, not bad. I love you. I'm just gonna go to Target really quick and then I'll be back. We're gonna hang out together today and I might even take you on a nice dog walk somewhere and a car ride. Just let mommy get some stuff started and then we can worry about car rides and doggy walkies. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. I'll be right back. It's going to do a quick target run, okay? I should have wore a hoodie today, but I'm just doing a quick little target run, but it's kind of cold out here. I had a hoodie picked out, but I was like, no, I live in Florida. I don't need that. But my car says it's 61 degrees right now. Sesame. We're coming up with the cleaning supplies. <laughs> I truly love cleaning. Now that I make the content, I love it. This right here is exactly what I was talking about because it has like in a pole. So I feel like this might really get Scout's dog hair out. And if this doesn't work, then there's really nothing I could do. Now we're just going to see what other things kind of pique our interest for cleaning purposes. I don't really know. I'm seeing that little fabric shaver thing up there, but I don't feel like I really need it and try to stick to things that I feel like are useful for me and not just buy a bunch of cleaning products as a way to like sell people on you need this thing you know I just I want to make the cleaning things that I or do the cleanings that I actually need to do with the products that I actually need that's just how I live my life I was thinking about getting one of these little duster things to clean my blinds. I feel like it will just be a little bit easier to do. But why are there so many options? Like there's these white ones and there's these yellow ones. Okay. <laughs> I'm in the element right here, y'all. Okay, getting a scrub bomb me. Okay, I think I'm decked out and I think I'm good to go. Okay, got everything I need. Now we're going home to do some cleaning. I was feeling a little bit generous yesterday, so I took Scout with me to Hyde Park in Tampa. If you live in the area, you kind of know. There was actually some kind of art festival going on, but there's a pet store there that Scout loves. She's begging <laughs> and I took her there and I got her some new stuff. I got her a new toy. <laughs> Has all kinds of sounds. <laughs> you like it? It's your new toy. What she really wants are these. Scat has a lot of allergies so she can't have a lot of different kinds of treats. I have like meat flavor, like chicken livers and stuff. She can't have all that, but she can, ooh, she can have these. These are actually so cute. And they look like the animal cracker cookies that I used to eat when I was a kid. Like, look at how adorable that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and they feel so like light and crispy. I honestly want to taste one myself. Should we taste one? I'm scared, but they're supposed to be blueberry flavored. All right, eat that one. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna try a little bite. Let's try a little bite of one. 
Shut up. I would totally eat this. These taste like cookies. I don't taste the blueberry. Oh, wait. I do taste the blueberry. Mm -hmm. These taste so much like cookies. I bet these have a lot of sugar in them. They taste like a cookie. All right, that's your last one because I don't know what these are sweetened with. But I don't want you to have too much sugar. But she loves these. She had so many of them yesterday. But we have a big old bag. And I love spoiling Scout when I can. If if I had if I was like rich like Paris Hilton rich, Scout would have little outfits. She does have a few outfits, but she doesn't wear them. She would have little outfits. We would have matching outfits. Oh my gosh, she would have a private chef that cooked her food for her. <laughs> I would go over the top for this little girl. Did you like your treats? Did you like your treats? Did you like them? You yeah, like your treats? Mwah. I love you. I'm gonna go clean. I can go clean. Good morning. Time to rise and shine. Let's get out of bed. And you and I are gonna spend the morning together. I just want to let you guys know how much bed space I had to sleep on for the night. <laughs> look at the entire bed Scout and then look at this little section of bed that Scout let me have like thank you thank you thank you bossy lady thank you I woke up like this I woke up like this <laughs> my hair is a little crazy I did blow it out last night so I have a fresh blowout I did the sheets and I wanted to make sure that I slept in a clean bed with clean hair and a clean body so we made that happen Good morning. Good morning, pumpkin. Let's go get you some breakfast. Fresh water and fresh food. My dog has food allergies, so this is the type of food that I feed her because of her allergies. Love that for a girly pup. Good job, Mama. Okay, let's check on my bone broth. She been cooking all night long. Good morning. Good morning. Did you have your breakfast? Oh. Did you have your breakfast? Good morning. Oh my goodness. How did you sleep? You probably slept so good. You had the entire bed. You left mommy with one little sliver. How? Why? Why are you doing that to your mommy? It's the perfect setup for brushing. So. Yeah, why would you leave mommy with one little sliver to sleep on? I mean, I slept pretty good, but. Definitely woke up a couple times wondering what, where the heck the rest of the bed was at. And why I didn't have access to it. Gatekeeper? Are you a gatekeeper? Ooh. Do you like this? Does that feel good? Oh, the tickle barb. Okay, so we need our little bath tonight or tomorrow. Gorgina. Gorgina. Hey, Joe, can we clean that little cute, pretty little face of yours? Here, I'm just gonna wipe down some of the tears. We gotta get all your sleepies out of your face. And if you have any nasties around your mouth, put your 
Hi. Don't a warm washcloth feel so nice on your face in the morning? Let's get in between your eyeballs because you always got crud in there. You always get food stuck up in there. Hey, are you ready for your harness? Whoa. Are you ready for your harness? Are you ready to go outside? Oh, you're not ready for the harness. Oh, excuse you. Good job. You're such a good mama. You're such a good baby. Good job. Good job, Scout. Okay, let's go outside. Oh. Cute little bunny. <laughs> Well, that one got something in our mouth, so we're back for our walk early. Let's see what we can find to bribe this kid to get this out of her mouth. I don't even know what it is. A napkin, it looks like. We've got blueberries. Oh, blueberries worked. Okay. I swear this kid is going to be the death of me. <laughs> <sighs> oh, well, we didn't really get much of a walk in this morning, but you know, hey, she got some blueberries, so I guess a, a win-win in her book. Okay, we are back in from our dog walk. The hair is up, the hands are washed, and we're going to go in and wash our face, do some skincare. I have this one person that always comments on my videos, and they're like, are you okay, Grandma? That's what they commented this morning or between last night and this morning. Every time they comment, they say grandma. I'm like, I just comment right back like, are, are you okay, grandma? Because I don't get it. Now it is time to go in with our dynamic duo. Finishing off with some oil. And now we are ready for some breakfast. All right, time to make some breakfast. Let's get everything out that we need in order to feed ourselves this morning. We've got some grass-fed white cheddar cheese, milk for the scrambled eggs, and we can't have scrambled eggs without actually having eggs. We're gonna do a little bit of greens with our eggies. Some green beans from the farmer's market. And we have some butternut squash and chopped eggplant in here. And last but not least, we're gonna go in with our supplements that we have. We have Mary Ruth's Gut Flora. And then on this side, we have Green Pasture Fermented Cod Liver Oil and Butter and Concentrated Butter Oil Cinnamon Flavored. Let's get to grinding on breakfast. We are going to grease the pan down with some of this duck oil. And we are going to snap the ends off our green beans. Green beans are going in the pan. And we're going to put some butternut squash and eggplant in the pan. A nice handful of that. So far, that's what we're looking like. While that simmers, we're gonna get our scrambled eggs together. I've got three eggs I'm gonna crack. Eggies are ready. We've got our cheese grater for our cheese. Eggies are going in the pan. This is what we're looking like right now. Eggs are coming together. We need a couple more seconds or minutes on them. We've got some super greens and personally, I love to throw in as many veggies as I can in the morning, but I cannot eat it like this. It's like a salad. Who can have a salad for breakfast? So we're gonna wilt these down just a little bit in the pan. Nice little small handful. It's time to go in with our cheese. And I like the finely shred side. Okay. 
pretty much the final book. Food is all plated up. Yummy. Scout's gonna take her medicine. There you go, sweetheart. Now that Scout has had her medicine, it's time for me to take my supplements. Don't mind me being a crazy lady and drinking milk right out of the carton because, quite frankly, I can in my own home. The perks of being an adult and paying your own bills. We're going to go in straight with the Mary Ruth's first. Pills are not too bad. Now we're going to go with our fermented cod liver oil, which looks like this. Probably can't tell. It's a dark jar with a dark stuff. That's on the hatch. Now it's time to enjoy breakfast. Oh my goodness. I'm so hungry and I'm so ready for this. It's steaming. How do you have a sleepy? I cleaned your face already. <laughs> I love you. Ooh, beautiful. I love you. And you're beautiful. We're almost done with breakfast. <laughs> breakfast is done. We're going in with some sunscreen and we'll put on some deodorant, but I have no idea what I'm about to wear today. Luckily, I don't have to really care because I see the same two people most days. And most days, they don't even see me because I'm in the cubicles. They're in the offices. So, and I'm tucked in the back of the cubicle area. So, most people don't even really see me. Look at my nice and shiny skin. Love this sunscreen. Gives me a glow. All right, let's pack some lunch for myself. I made a very good yummy salad. We're going to put it together for the day. I have this nifty little bowl that my parents got me a few years back. I think, I don't know if it's Rubbermaid or it's Tupperware. I'm obsessed with it because it comes with like a little salad thing. And I am a salad or like dressing on the side kind of girl. Plus dressing on my salad all day until lunchtime, probably not the best. I put strawberries and little cherry tomatoes in here already. So I'm gonna use my tongs to kind of mix it up a little bit before I get some out. I've got some rotisserie chicken and then some goat cheese that's gonna go in here. Generous amount of chicken on there. Haven't opened this. Let's do that. Little crumble. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is very creamy. I'm like, do I put it on with my hands or do I get a fork? Or a little spoon? Generous amount of that in there. I am basically recreating the strawberry Fuji salad that I had at So Fresh last week. It was that good. And I have this homemade dressing. I tried to recreate the dressing that they have there at So Fresh for this salad. I don't have balsamic vinegar, so it's the dressing minus the balsamic vinegar, but it's still gonna be really good, I think. It's basically like Dijon mustard, olive oil, um, honey, and balsamic vinegar, which I don't have. It's just not as sweet, but we got a little bit of that. 
Now, their salad didn't have blueberries, but I love blueberries, and I know that this is probably the last little bit of blueberries I'm gonna be able to get, so we're gonna add blueberries to this as well. Generous amount of those. Yum, looking delicious. Last thing to add is an apple. We're gonna chop this up. I'm basically cutting the apple into little tiny slices so it's edible. And I don't have a big hunk of apple in there. Bottoms up. Mm-hmm. The salad is looking yummy. Probably a lot of apple for the salad, but apple goes brown if you don't use it all up. The lid on it. And then you just put your dressing right in there. Would you like this little bite? Good job. Here's my simple little foot check for the day. I've got my Fugs on. Those are my fake Uggs from Amazon. My Old Navy jeans I bought a few weeks ago and this Walmart sweater with a little white t-shirt. Simple, cute, effortless. And I curled my hair because since I had so much time since Scout wanted to get Starbucks trash off the ground. I'm gonna miss you today. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you like I miss you every day. Mm. I love this little girl. Say bye! Evidence. Evidence of someone getting something off the ground. Looks like another dog's rawhide bone. She's attempting to walk it home. We got some Amazon in. A new vacuum cleaner. Mostly because the one that I have just doesn't do the best job because it's very much a budget um, vacuum cleaner. But this one is too. But TikTok was raving about it. So we're gonna see if it lives up to the hype. As you guys know, I have a dog with short hair and she's always shedding. And it doesn't matter what I do, there's always hair to clean up. So I have a vacuum cleaner that I use on my bed and it does a decent job, but she has such short hair and it gets trapped inside like the mattress cover thing. So I ended up getting one of those sticky rolly kind of things with an extender arm. Said sticky rolly thing with an extender arm. It's a, like a, a lint roller for bigger surfaces. I got one of these. I used two sheets after vacuuming the mattress alone. So I don't know. And the vacuum cleaner, the regular vacuum cleaner, the regular vacuum cleaner that I use like on my floor. Whenever I'm vacuuming this rug in the living room, it suctions up the rug and it's like picking the rug up off the ground. And I don't know if it's just because this rug is thin and I don't have it like secure down because I have a rug underneath and I really don't want to secure those. Just in case I ever want to sell these on Facebook Marketplace, I can sell them separately or anything like that. So I mean, was like, maybe I just need to better vacuum cleaner. So we're gonna open up this bad boy and see how it does. This is the Eureka Mighty Might. I'll have to get all the details off the Amazon description and put them here in the screen somewhere. But we're gonna open this up and see how this goes. This is a bag plug-in vacuum cleaner. The vacuum that I have now is cordless and does not have a bag, so I don't know, we're going back to the 90s, I guess, with this. Also, not only did TikTok rave about this, the Amazon reviews were really good about it with pet hair. So we got the hose and we've got some of those like thick wand attachments and then the vacuum cleaner. And I think it came with a few bags to get us started. At least I'm hoping it came with a few bags. So we've got one of the wands if this doesn't work and it's just as good as the other one i'm going to return this but it's going to be a nightmare 
a nightmare to return. But I'm not gonna keep something if it doesn't work better than the one that I have now. Because what's the point of spending the money? This was about $75. So that's why I'm kind of skeptical if it's gonna work any better, but the root beers were just so good. Said vacuum cleaner is actually really lightweight. There is another attachment back here that comes off with a little brush and that for like furniture, I guess. Let's just go back in here. No, it was in here like this. Okay, I don't understand this because I don't know how this goes back on here. Oh, okay, I got it. Understood. A manual in case you need instructions. Another attachment. And the attachment for like the floor. And then said vacuum bags that I said would come with it. Looks like the vacuum bag just goes right in there and then you just close the lid. If your dog would stop trying to chew on it, then you just it's not for chewing. I'm trying to close this. <laughs> then you try to, okay. Well, Scout, you just moved the, then you close it and you've got this big hole here where your hose fits into. Put the hose in there. Ooh, okay. And it's got wheels. It's got a handle, it's got wheels, okay. Moved you guys again to my coffee table. Hopefully we can check this out together. Already I can tell this has so much suction, but it is pulling up this rug. So there is another like floor thing that you can get and I might get that, but also I just think it might just be because this rug is not secured. But this suction on this, if you guys didn't see, like I was trying to pull it off the carpet and this kept separating because there was so much suction power. So I really like that, but it's also kind of annoying. And I don't know what to do about this rug because the only way to secure it is to like tape it or something. And then that's going to ruin this juke rug that I have below. It is four o'clock and I am out of work and we are going to spend the evening together. So come along with me and spend the evening with me. Finally, I'm out of work. The out of work shimmy shake. I made it home. And if you cannot hear it, it is coming down outside. I always wanted to sit in my car. <laughs> but I really want to be inside. So let's brave this wetness and go in. <laughs> oh my gosh think of this it's wash hair day time to have dinner <laughs> and i got you on i got my daughter on facetime right here <laughs> but i made a burger and i put some um guacamole and i fried an egg and then we got some little sweet peppers with some cream cheese girl dinner but healthy my dog is gonna have her little girl dinner. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Come on, let's go. Girl dinner. Hush. Hush. Name barking at. What is, what's his name barking at? Bullet. Bullet? Oh, these people came in about the oh. They're just looking. Ew, that looks disgusting, and I don't know how to eat the same thing every day. That's it's not girl dinner, that's depression dinner. It's a sweet pepper with cream cheese. You eat that with the press. Huh? Oh, girl. I want to open it, but I don't want to open it because I don't it's know. It's called like, meal prepping. Where well, you eat it's the same thing depression. every day. <laughs> you can't commit to other <laughs> Okay, well, do you got private chef money? No, you don't have to have a private chef. You can eat something else. <laughs> like, other than whatever you're eating. It's called grocery shopping. Okay, I'm about to show you. 
So what am I supposed to do? Make two burgers and then make something else with the rest of the ground beef? Like tacos? Yes, you literally just said you wanted tacos. I know. Did you not? I'm going to go out to eat and get tacos. We're going to unbox my oh. Amazon stuff on FaceTime with my daughter. Still. Okay, I'm struggling over here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about this. We are going to get the silverware out of those silver containers that it, it is in and hopefully it'll fit into this. This isn't looking mad big, Izzy. Maybe it goes like yeah. this. And then I fell victim. I needed something to scrub my tub with because I literally am down on my hands and knees scrubbing it to get it cleaned. And this will just be better because I am almost 42, so I'm old. I have not cleaned up my mess from my Amazon packages, but it is six o'clock. I just got off FaceTime. I am also still waiting for this to charge. This is the like stick part of that tub brush thing, but it's still in the red back here. It's being charged. So I'm kind of hoping that by the time I get ready to clean the tub, this will be done. And I kind of just want to get the cleaning in and over because I'm kind of, if I sit too much longer on the couch, I'm going to be a lazy bum. How do you feel about mommy cleaning the bathroom? Do you want a clean tub for your bath? You want a clean tub for your bathies? Yes, you do. It's about 6.30. Just got done cleaning the bathroom. I'm going to go and show you guys how chef's kiss it looks now. It looks so good. I do have my hair brushes soaking because they absolutely need to be cleaned, but everything got clean. Wonderful. And now we're going to try to take Scout outside one more time. I don't think it's raining too bad. She didn't like it earlier. It was raining a little bit too much for her liking. Right? Well, it's still raining outside, so Scout didn't actually not want to be out there. And I think we're going to have to go on Amazon and get her like a little rain jacket or one of those leashes that have umbrellas. She doesn't really like to wear things, but she does wear her sweater. So maybe we can just get her a little rain jacket. Um, we came straight back in basically. It is 7.13. I just got out the shower. Just washed my hair. I haven't built an Easter basket in a few years. Several years. But since I live so close to my daughter here um, in the Tampa area, I thought we'd go to Five Below, pick out some assortment of goodies, and maybe get some cash and make a little goodie basket, Easter basket situation to drop off tomorrow morning for her. So let's go ahead. I'm thinking Five Below first to get like the grass and the basket, hoping that they have some cute stuff left considering it's Good Friday. And then I would do gift cards, but I'm so scared to get gift cards in it be like a scam. So we'll do cash and we'll put some candy in there and whatever our heart desires and we find it five below that's not just a bunch of crap and something that she will actually enjoy using or wearing or something. <laughs> Okay, these are our basket options. We have a frog, we have a cute little ducky, or we have what I like to call the Gen Z mushroom. Wait y'all, there's this basket and her favorite color is purple. So I think we should just get the purple basket. Okay, we're gonna fill it with some candy. We're in the candy section. <laughs> these look yummy. These look good. Can't go back wrong with all pink Starburst. Some of this. My daughter is a cat mom, so I'm thinking about putting a cat toy in here. I thought that might be really fun. Or to have like a little play something she can play with the cats. But I'm so lost. I'm not a cat person. I'm like, do I get this scratching post? Do I get this little toy right here and it literally goes like that? Or do I get like this fish in line with the bird on it? I have no idea. I'm trying to think about something the cats would get the most use out of. 
I'm kind of going with the scratching post. You can never go wrong with those and it's kind of compact. So I feel like you could probably put it like, you know, in a corner of a room. It wouldn't take up too much space. It's kind of on the smaller side. Ooh, wait. There's also this toy right here. I wonder if our cats would really like this. I think we're gonna get this. I am really drawn to this, but that's something I would like and not her. She's more of a minimal, minimalistic girl. That's like more speed, but she doesn't need that either. And I don't want to fill her basket up with a bunch of junk. Gosh, wait. A vase? She really loves strawberry stuff. Okay, this is going in the basket. After much thought, I think I'm going to put the strawberry thing back because she doesn't do flowers. She doesn't do plants because cats are so, like, you know, allergic to so many things that are deathly to them. So, I love this. But I don't feel like she would find use out of it. So, unfortunately, I feel like it's got to go back. We got to pick up something that's Easter related. Oh my gosh. You're fine. I found this really cute shirt with strawberries on it. So I'm going to put this in the basket too. Basket is secured. So let's go home and put this together. Together. Together, together. Free and clear. Okay, now that we're back home, let's build our cute little Easter basket. How adorbs is this? This is like literally the perfect shade of purple. Her favorite co color is purple, but she is a, like a lavender purple kind of girl. So this is perfection and it's so adorable. But we're cutting off the tag. And let's go over everything that I bought. I'm really excited. What's an Easter basket without some candy? So we got these trolley strawberry puffs. We got these Sour Patch Kids and Pete Pink Everything Starburst. Ahem, <coughs> <coughs> choking. Because I'm so excited about all the things that I bought. <laughs> we have some Twix because we're going to balance out the fruity candy with some chocolate. We got one thing of Easter can of candy. Bunny shaped Forever Rocher. You can never go wrong with these. These are delicious. I know both my girls love those. And because she's a cat mom, I'm always trying to get a little cat something for the cats. But I thought this might be really fun to keep the cats entertained. We should be putting these things in the basket as I'm showing you. So let's start doing that. We'll put this up front. We'll throw all these little candies right here in the back. Now we don't have much room in the basket. Since I had to put that strawberry pot back because, or the strawberry vase, shall I say, pot vase, whatever you wanna call it, because I didn't think she would actually use it. I saw this strawberry top and I'm obsessed. So this is gonna go into the basket. But I couldn't resist a cute little strawberry top. We'll put that right back here with the candy. And now our basket is so stuffed, I didn't have room to put that little fake grass stuff in there. Whoops! Thanks for hanging with Scout and I. We've had a great week and I cannot wait to hang with you guys next week. I have some plans in store, some surprises maybe. Anyway, love y'all and bye!